All right, on to room number nine. Only three more to go after we inevitably conquer this one, because that's what we do. We conquer things, because America, for sure. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So, do we have any secret passageways behind this painting, which certainly seems large enough to conceal a secret passageway? Doesn't look like it. How about you? Nope. All right, this one is called The Descent. Not so sure about the spelling on that one, but anyway, looks like this room has not been used in a while. So, let's descend by going up this ladder here. Let's see what's going on. There's a lot of light stone for such a small room. Isn't there? Is that a hint to tell us to break it down? I don't know, we'll see. Ha oh, oh, there we go. Secret passageways. Don't waste your time digging this sand. There is an easier way through. Hmm. I'm gonna dig this sand. Oh. Okay, I thought maybe it'd be like a pit wall or something, but nope. Hmm. Don't bother digging. Well, do I destroy the light stone? Was that a hint? Was that a hint? I'm sorry if I'm breaking the rules here, but you're kind of hinting at me destroying the light stone, so I'm going to destroy it. Although, what would I be able to do with those? The only way I can actually get through something is by going through a vertical one. All right. There we are. There we are. Oh, is this a sand trap? Look behind you. Hmm. Falling sand, maybe? No? No, that was anti-climate. Oh, there we go. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so I guess we go back down now. And now, oh, fancy that. So it made some steps for us, and there we go. Okay. It's really dark in here, and at least there's some light stone. You just talk- well, now I got some torches. <laughs> Thank you very much for the whole falling sand thing, so not much to worry about there, is there? Okay, on into, how, how do we get in there? Wait a minute, wait just a minute. Wasn't even paying attention to the fact that there's no button, is there? Hmm. Well then, we have a bit of a predicament, don't we? Hmm, <laughs> do we have any levers or buttons over here? It doesn't look like it. Well, I guess we can go back up to the second level, maybe check you- oh! Oh, of course there's something in the one chest I don't look in. Fair enough, but no... Button slash lever. Damn it! I totally forgot to take the paper out. Huh. Do I have to... Unflip it? No? Hmm. Hmm. Flip you again. No. No! We have a... Broken my- oh, there's glowstone down there that I could potentially break that I didn't even think about doing. Could there be something behind you? Yes, there could be. Oh, I'm a genius. Flip you and end it. There we go. But bam Take the loot and is there gonna be a lever back here to open the next room? I think so. Good stuff. Okay, there we go, um, yeah, all right, let's go on down to the next level and check out room number 10. Store this stuff in the chest first though, here we go, good stuff. I'm gonna have to remember which chest I put stuff in when we finally complete all the rooms so we can tally our score, but I'll leave that for later. All right, room number 10, lava. Leaps of faith and stuff. Use the ladders to reach the other side of the room. Oh, this seems mighty dangerous. Not so sure I'm a fan of this methodology here. There we go. Uh huh. Hut. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Straight jump. Oh, oh, there we go. I'm a hardcore parkour master. Don't try this at home. God damn it. Okay, that didn't work too well, did it? Yep, I should have sprint jumped there. Let's try that again. It's a good thing I saved my stuff. It's okay. I'm a trained professional. Only I can respond, not you. Number 12, 11, 10. Here we are again. All right. Time to take advantage of sprint jump because it's there for a reason. But strafe jump and try that again. All right. Much better. Much better. Now on to right there. Back up. Let's do some Mario action. Some Koopa fence action. And... Whew. All right. All right. All right. There we go. On towards 
the end. Oh man, this is nice. this is a nice jump. Can I really make this? I hope so. Straight jump. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see that straight jump? Because that definitely just did it. <laughs> okay. Is that the end? Was it that quick? Hmm. We're about to find out, aren't we? Yeah, that was quick. Pull the lever to open the next room and give us our loot. Thank you very much. And we're back. That was super quick. All right, room number 11. Hauling through these challenges. I wonder if there's gonna be a finale of some kind or if it's just once we get into room number 12, then it's that's that. I don't know. Either way, this is blue. Because I am blue, da ba dee da ba die da ba dee da ba da da ba dee da ba da I'm blue. Well, what? Wait, where am I supposed to go? Am I breaking lights down here or is this a water maze? Hmm. Oh, no, it's just a water maze. I went the wrong direction, first off. Because I'm good. I guess it's just supposed to sort of annoy you by pushing you in the wrong direction when you choose a wrong path. Can I choose you? Pikachu. God, this is going to be awful. What a way to make a water or a maze just awful by adding currents that make it impossible to go back when you do take a wrong turn. Oh boy, this isn't going to be fun, is it? Come on. Oh man. I think we're still going the right way, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're doing good. Let's do now. God damn it. I took a really, really long wrong path here. Fortunately, not too many reverse currents. All right, let's go back this way. Look, carry me back. God darn it. Oh, riptides everywhere. Riptides everywhere. I'm probably taking a wrong turn. This looks like a dead end, huh? Wait, is this just a loop? He's gonna loop now, nope, that's a dead end. God damn it, am I looking for sand on the ground? I can't tell. There's an old tip about Always staying to your right. Always turning right or having the following the right wall and you will always find the end of a maze. Apparently that's true. I've never tried it, so maybe now is the time to try, even though I've been down that way. Been down that way. So that's probably a really roundabout way to attempting to solve this, but I can give it a go, I guess. Thank you. I don't know how I didn't take this path to start with. It just came out of nowhere. I don't know, that's some witchcraft. Okay, go up the waterfall. Fair enough. How did I not see that? I have no idea. Oh, it's a multi-level water maze. Even better, I love those things. <laughs> they were even better when boats would go up water elevators. Those were fun. I remember the good old days when boats didn't just not float up water elevators. It's funny, because that was patched, quote unquote. But it really would make sense that a wooden boat would float up a water thing because if you there we go wow i did good i did real good pull the lever to open the last chamber either try the maze backwards or smash the glass for the exit i'm gonna smash the glass i'm sorry i'm real sorry for that but yeah pull the lever and break glass in case of an emergency i do declare this is an emergency because mazes are Swell. Oh, so now we enter the tomb of the wrath as Craft Bandicoot. <laughs> okay. Nobody can destroy me. <laughs> I'm about to with lead and steel because for some reason you're made of wool. Not entirely sure why. But, uh, yeah. That's a convenient little flint and steel thing you have just in front of the sign that says nobody can destroy me. You might have wanted to think about that beforehand, because it could have saved you some some real hassle as far as you burning and all that stuff. So, yeah, there's that. Okay. All right, fire, enough of you. Let's walk on through. Let's walk on through. Come on. He will see me. That's all I see. I see a sign that says, I will see you again soon. There we go. On into here. I guess that's it. So I guess Mr. Wrath over here, who is not really anymore, uh, like may you rest in peace, I guess. I guess he was causing us some, some pain by, uh, by putting us through these puzzles. 
Fair enough. Okay, let's go collect our stuff. Tally up our score. And we'll see how we did. I'm not sure if there's any chart that says if you collected this much, you are a professional. Was glowstone dust part of it? I don't think it was. It was just just those things. Okay. Back down one more level. So we got 28 diamonds, 20 apples, a record, some paper, and four golden apples. Fancy that. All right. And back on into room number 12. All right, well, I guess that's about it for now. So thanks for watching the playthrough. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be much appreciated. Other than that, I'll see you all next time.